So I welcome Ravi and Venkat to the final of our press conferences today. So just let us know how it feels for you two to finally be at this point with Fairbreak and be involved in such an integral moment in women's cricket. Venkat, kick us off. It seems surreal. We've been working on it for past few years, like what Sean has said, and this was always a dream to bring together the best in the world, promote women's equality, gender equality, and women's cricket, and give an opportunity for everyone, as the name says, to get a fair break. And step by step, step by step, we have focused on the process, and today, suddenly, we find ourselves at the culmination of all these years of effort. We feel absolutely thrilled. Like what Sean said, Ultimately, once the first ball is pulled, it's going to be a routine. Till that point of time, we can see the excitement building up right now and years of work coming to fruition. Yeah, and obviously Hong Kong, Cricket Hong Kong have been so hugely involved in this. Obviously, we can be in Hong Kong for the tournament, but what does it mean for Cricket Hong Kong to be such a big part of this? I think we, we saw all the captains speak earlier today. We saw the you know the passion that is there, uh, the opportunities this event is creating for associate players. Uh, I think the the whole concept of the event of getting players from different countries, 35 nations coming together in six teams, uh, different cultures. I think that's what Hong Kong is. It's a multicultural city. Uh, it completely fits in what Fair Break is about and and uh, what's cricket to Hong Kong's goals are towards growing the game and growing the market. I think. You know, it's a perfect fit for us. Hong Kong has always been, uh, you know, innovative and uh, looking at uh, organizing uh, unique events like we did with the World Sixes for many, many years in Hong Kong. And I think Fair Break is the next uh, step, and it's uh, it's unique and it's new and it's uh, it promotes the game, and that's what Craig in Hong Kong is all about. Yeah, and so Ben Cap, what has been the hardest thing to get to this point? you had to overcome to get here and like obviously women's cricket has had to overcome a lot over the years but you've now made it this point we've got this global tournament that's going to be seen all over the world so what's when you look back and think we overcame that and we've got to this point and everyone's going to see what we can do now uh, the hardest thing has been to actually get people to believe that such an event is possible we had to find a lot uh, we found a lot of skepticism we had to tell people that this is an effort and this is a product worth investing in and worth developing. And we had to sell the concept that women's cricket is a different product in itself. Most of the time, when we went to the cricket loving community, uh, the way they've been looking at it, including the major cricketing nations, is bundling up women's cricket as a minor part of the men's cricket and simply packaging it the same way and trying to offer it. And then they wonder why there have been no takers. Women's cricket has got a lot of things which is unique. Women are essentially different from men. Their requirements are different. A simple thing like going on a tour for three months and four months and playing cricket non-stop and coming back. Men are quite used to it. Women, they have partners, they have families, they have friends, and many of the associate nation cricketers have got carriers. They don't like it. They prefer simpler, shorter version where they can enjoy the game. At the same time, they can spend time with the family and friends. And we talked to a lot of the women. And we understood that what they want was something similar to a Grand Slam tennis concept. One city, one venue, one stadium, 15 days over, have a great time and get back. And that's precisely what we have brought in as Fair Break and Cricket Hong Kong into the tournament is that we completely took off, we completely took off our male hats and we treated women's cricket as a product what deserves to be given special attention and that's what has brought it to fruition today. No other cricketing nation in the world has made, managed to bring in 35 women, I mean, uh, test playing, uh, 35 nation. international test, uh, nations to come in and play in one single tournament. It's not happened in any team sport in the world. So this is the first, and so we believed in what we did. We believed that we have a unique product, and we worked single-mindedly towards that and brought it out here. Yeah, and that's what's so amazing about this product is it's also invited those sponsors who can see the beauty behind it, and they are so integral to growing Fairbreak and growing the women's game globally. So it must just mean so much to have all these incredible sponsors on board. What do you think about that, Ravi? Yeah, definitely. I think the the sponsors, STG, Impact Fund, the title sponsors. I think you know we incredibly grateful that they've seen the vision of the event, the Bami Army coming in and supporting uh, 
supporting the team, uh, Chenkor, who has uh, been an uh, integral part of the Fairbreak concept, and all the other sponsors that are coming in, and especially even, uh, you know, the event was due to be held in Hong Kong, and due to COVID, we had to move it to, to UAE, so we're also very incredibly thankful to Emirates Cricket Board and the Dubai Cricket Stadium for hosting the venue, so I think... I think there are people out there who will see the concept and I think this it's a movement it will keep growing and I think once the cricket starts I think the momentum will start towards the event and in, in the coming years this event will only grow and, and we'll have more and more people joining in in the movement and, and let, the, let the event grow. Yeah and it's very much about the see it to be it concept as well and that's what the sponsors are providing and then TV coverage and all over the world and Venka how great for you to just have everyone on board uh, incredibly grateful. Thanks very much to Tony Silver and SDG Development Fund. Thanks to Bamiami. Thanks to EV Pro. Thanks to all our sponsors. And thanks to everybody in this room as well as everybody in part of the Fabric family, including Emirates Cricket Board, including everybody in Cricket Hong Kong. All, it, it's just exactly a team effort. Cricket is a team game. This is a total team effort. We just brought it into fruition. And it's incredible how all the pieces fitted together seamlessly to bring it to this situation where we are less than 48 hours away from kicking off the tournament. It's an amazing feeling. Yeah, and you guys are the trailblazers for how incredible this women's tournament global players can be. And so moving forward, it's something that can be the template as the women's game looks to grow even further. And you can be proud that you have been that first step. And it's been thanks to those sponsors, thanks to the effort put in by you guys and everyone behind the scenes. But what is going to be that moment when it really hits? Is it that first ball, like Sean said earlier? The first ball and the first game, get it out of the way and then you settle into a rhythm. Yeah. yeah. Um, is that same for you? Yeah, I think that, and I, I'm, I'm definitely there will be a moment there, and I think there will be a moment in this two weeks where we'll sit down and I will look back and we'll say, yeah, that's, you know, that's it's arrived and it's here, and you know, and that's what it changed the game. So I think that moment will come. Those magic moment happens in magic events, and this is a magic event for sure. It is magic. Yeah. And what's the thing you're looking forward to most over the next two weeks? Running a successful tournament, making sure that everybody who has participated in it, starting from the players onwards, derive full satisfaction and benefit from it. The sheer joy of the associate nation players being able to train with, stay with, play with the uh, full member nation players, gain valuable advice and support. And for the full member nation players, to be able to be a mentor passing on their experience and knowledge back to the associate. It's a win-win situation for both. We attended the training sessions yesterday and then when we started seeing the girls getting together, putting an arm around each other and supporting each other, it's an incredible moment to watch because normally when you watch team game, it's a rivalry, your team versus my team. But here we found an inclusiveness which is essential for the fabric spirit. And that's the most satisfying part. And that's what I believe will make the tournament grow. Because everyone is a winner. There are no losers. And I'm guessing you reflect that ethos. Yes, completely. Uh, I think we'll, to see the, you know, hopefully we'll see some great partnership or some associate player performing and, you know, learning and seeing results on the field. I think I'm looking forward to that most, yeah.